Yo, what's up guys? I'm back again with yet another Off-Road Outlaws video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the Jurassic Park Jeep in Off-Road Outlaws. So it's obviously not the same Jeep that they would see in the movies. But you know, we're going to try to get it as close as possible. It's not going to be as accurate. I'll put a picture up there of what one of them looked like. And um, we're just going to be trying to copy it. Now, it's not one from the movie, but... I don't know if it's exactly from the movie, but or like, you know, because people can make their own replicas and stuff like that. But we're just going to try to get as close as possible as we can using the stuff in the game. Now, it's obviously obviously not going to be super accurate. But honestly, once I finished, I thought it wasn't that bad. Now, I am kind of I did this um on short time. I tried to do this as fast as possible because me and my friend were actually challenging ourselves to see who could make the best Jeep. So you guys will see what he made in the end of the video. And if you guys like his better, comment down below. If you guys like mine better, comment down below. We want to see in the comments who you guys think was better. And that way we will see for ourselves who made the better Jeep. He made a pretty cool one, not going to lie. But mine was pretty cool too. So that's up for you guys to decide what you guys think. And as for this part right here, the closest thing I could find that would represent the dinosaur that goes right there. I believe it's like a raptor the dinosaur that represents wasn't in the game there's no dinosaur and the closest thing was this deer with big antlers so that's what i went ahead and did and i'm just putting the words out jurassic park right there as you guys can see in the actual picture it's obviously not that accurate because in the picture it does have like a little box around it but i'm just putting it on there like i said it's a game you don't have much much options so i am i'm working with it you know and i'm going to give you guys the best look i can so there's that side right there. I'm just going to even out the words and I'm going to go out to the other side and put the same thing. Jurassic Park once again. And I did kind of mirror most of the things. The only things I couldn't mirror was like the words and the logo. I just had to fix that. Or I think I ended up leaving the logo, but the words, you know, I couldn't leave that backwards. And the wheels, this is going to be the closest thing. And I'm just going to put it red. And that's already looking really good. The tires, you know, they're not really no off-road aggressive tires. So I went with the closest thing. And then as for the number, um, they did have a Jeep number on it. So like GP and then the number. So I'm pretty sure that's Jurassic Park. And then the number of like the vehicle. And I'm going to go ahead and put that number 11 in yellow. And honestly, that looks super good now. That definitely gave it a better touch. Without that, I honestly think it wouldn't have looked the same. I don't know why, but that number really did change its look. And I did put those rounded headlights up there. Now another thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to lower it a little bit by lowering the travel down. The rim size is getting an increase too. It's not too big, but I did want it a little bigger than what I had it at. And there I am raising the one on the back. If you guys can see how I'm doing it, you guys can go ahead and copy that too. If you guys want to do it like that. And now I'm going to go back and I forgot about that GP number that goes on top of the hood. So it's GP and like... A red font and then there's that box right there so i'm just gonna try to get it as close as possible and i feel like it's like this rounded edge square and it goes right there and then you put that same number you put on the sides up there but it was like a super light gray or a white so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that white on there so it's gonna look good you know just what number okay 11 yeah because i was like i did not put 18 i didn't remember that so there we go i changed it back to 11 and there it is this thing's looking super awesome i'm not gonna lie that thing looks great i don't know what you guys think it looks really good in my opinion i don't know you guys really need to comment down below because it was pretty close honestly i thought mine was really good his was pretty good too and i just maxed my thing out completely on all that stuff like the power durability grip and the weight and i'm gonna go over here and join a map give him the code and we'll both play now we were both talking in the background of this and I thought the audio recorder would pick, would pick up both of us talking, but it didn't. And there was like no sound. So I just had to do a voiceover, unfortunately. So here it is, guys. Look, this thing looks awesome. It's super fast and he's up there. I can't really tell what he had at this point. I was still wondering what he had until he comes down here, I could see. And there it is, guys. He had a military Jeep. And there it is he has that star up there he has like a serial number on the side this thing looks super cool too i went into this 
drone so I could get a better view of them for you guys. And they both look super good, guys. Look at this. Honestly, it's super close, but you guys decide down in the comments you guys think one. This looks really awesome. You can see it's dark green. It has those stars on there like any military cheap wood. Like the, you know, like what you would actually think. That's like the stereotypical one. And there it is. It says USA and he put a serial number. And what's funny is that he said that that was his high school lunch number. That's pretty funny. I thought so. And here is mine. Looks super good too. Not going to lie. That thing looks super accurate. For it being a game, of course. There it is. Jurassic Park. Number 11. There's his Jeep. But other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment down below who you guys think won. It was just a little friendly competition, so it really doesn't matter. We just want to see what you guys think. I have been putting a lot more videos up recently and more videos to come. So if you want to see that, subscribe, hit the bell, hit the bell for notifications. And thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more content.